Well, right now we have about 157 children under foster care. Um, we usually exert custody over these children when we find out that um, they're not in a safe environment or they've been physically or sexually abused by their parents or their caregiver. And in those instances, when we feel that the child's um, home or environment is not conducive to living or they're in imminent danger, we do try or we, we do have to remove these kids. There are two uh, shelters actually. One is for the children only and then the other one is for the women and children. Right now we call them, we call it shelter, but it's a regular house. And a regular house doesn't have all the components that is needed to house every child, to make sure the child have their own bedroom. And that's not sufficient because sometimes the numbers goes up to 12. The shelter we have now only has, can accommodate 12, but um, we have exceeded those numbers uh, in, on more than one occasion. I remember one boy who, they're a sibling of five, one of them was put in the dark room and malnutrition, really skinny, and the boy can't even walk, can't even stand. So we had to go through all kinds of therapy ourselves to help this boy. He's not, he doesn't speak and he's already, you know, eight, nine, ten years old. So we started to talk. He doesn't walk, he just crawl all over the place. So we had to, you know, massage his legs and everything, build up the body, you know, give him a good nutrition and we make him walk. The child walked. I really wish people would try to understand that, you know, we need we need to take care of our children. These are our children in Guam. And we need not only the community support, but we really, we really need the legislators support. And we want the best for them because they have been through so much. Sorry, I'm getting kind of emotional here. They, um, some of them have been really battered, really hard, really terrible, or sexually abused for years. And um, we just really need to take care of them. And I'm begging that the people, whoever's deciding all this, would come up and open their hearts because it's really a need for these children to come to a better home. We're trying to give them the best, but it's still not. And that's why I'm working towards this, helping out in the Regalo, and asking people to please pray and consider that this home is very much needed yesterday. Yesterday, not tomorrow. It's, it's important. And I cannot ex ex uh, stress the importance of this building. It's, it's a must. Yeah, it's a need.